Welcome! This tutorial shows you how to manage the accounting in Magaya software for import shipments. In Magaya, the way to process accounting for a shipment is usually through a liquidation. A liquidation within Magaya is simply the generation of charges within a particular operations transaction in order to create accounting transactions. A liquidation can be done on the shipment, warehouse receipt, or cargo release level. For example, when we create warehouse receipts through the shipment reception process, this will create warehouse receipts under the warehousing folder, and when you edit a warehouse receipt, you have the option within the charges tab to click the generate button to perform a liquidation within the warehouse receipt. Also within the shipment is the release process. Releases are found within the warehousing folder under cargo releases. You can create cargo releases here or through the shipment, and when we edit one, you'll notice in the charges tab, there's also a generate button. This means we can perform liquidations within the cargo release as well. On a shipment, you have several different ways to perform a liquidation. You can go to each house, select the charges tab, and click the generate button from there. Or you can go to the master, click the generate button within the charges tab, or use the shipment liquidation button. We'll be covering the shipment liquidation feature in more detail later on in this video. Let's take a quick moment to look at some configuration options for liquidations. If we go to maintenance, then configuration, then accounting, we'll notice that we can configure liquidation options for both outgoing and incoming shipments. If we click on the incoming button, all of these settings apply globally to all your shipments. Later on in this video, we'll show you how to configure these options per shipment. Another nice feature for import shipments is using credit limits. You have the option to not release cargo if the customer is over the credit limit. In order to set this up, you will need to go to Customers, edit the customer, and then within the Payment Terms tab, you'll need to set a credit limit. Once the customer begins accumulating a balance through accounting transactions and is over the credit limit, the system will prompt you whether you want to release cargo or not. So now let's look at the liquidation feature within the shipment. On the master, we can select the charges tab, and here we notice we have several different costs. These charges can be automated under the accounting folder or under the vendor's profile on the master, you have the option of adding an agent profit sharing charge, or you can use the liquidation feature to automatically create this for you. In a few moments, we'll show you this option. When we go to our house, we'll notice we have income charges. Again, we can automate this through the accounting folder or under the customer's profile under maintenance. We can also manually add the charges using the add button. So now let's go to the master and click the liquidation button. Here we have our prepaid costs and incomes, which means the parties at origin are responsible for them. And we also have collect costs and incomes, which means the parties at destination are responsible for them. We can manually enter agent participation here or have it automatically show up by going into the agent's profile within maintenance. The same applies to the salesman's participation. On the bottom, we have all our totals and how much you owe your agent or your agent owes you. You owe your agent or your agent owes you all depends on the options within the charges, for example, prepaid collect and the values, or the shipment liquidation options. When we click on the configure button, we'll notice that these configuration options apply to this shipment only. There's a lot of features in here, so we'll go over the main ones for you. The option use a destination agent for collections is using consideration for billing an agent directly. If you do not want to bill the agent directly, uncheck it and you'll bill the customer directly. The customer is whomever is the bill to party on the charge. You can also generate one transaction per entity per consolidation, which means if you have multiple charges for the same person, it will group them all into one accounting transaction. You can also set up shipment participation for agents and salespersons here. And lastly, one of the most important options is the transaction date for each accounting transaction. We recommend departure date for outgoing shipments and arrival dates for incoming shipments. This ensures your accounting reports are aligned with your shipment dates. At any time, you can click the Actions button and produce shipment liquidation reports from here. Now we're ready to generate the accounting transactions, so let's go to the Generate button and click that. This screen allows us to confirm the accounting transactions that will be generated. For example, we have a bill from our trucking company, a bill from our customs broker, an invoice to our customer, 
and a credit memo to our forwarding agent. Once we click OK, we can accept, and now our liquidation is complete. We'll notice the totals on the bottom are green. When we close the liquidation screen and go back to the General tab, we'll notice we have a red check mark here which indicates that the shipment has been liquidated. At any time you can click the Shipment Profit button to see shipment profitability, and you can click the Actions button to generate profit reports. Notice that profit reports are also found within the Reports menu under Profit Reports. Now let's close the Profit screen and review the Transactions button. The Transactions for Shipment button is used when you select either a master or house, and you can add your accounting transactions to that specific shipment. Also, if you click the Actions button, you can link an invoice or bill that's already in your accounting system. For example, this is useful if your accounting department has a trucking bill and wants to link it directly to the shipment. If we close the Transactions for Shipment window, we'll notice we have a Transactions for Consolidation option. This feature will allow us to see all the accounting transactions on the master and houses. So now let's quickly look at the Charges tab within the shipment. If we go to our house, we'll see our charges are all posted. This means when we go to the transactions for the shipment and we select the accounting transaction, we can right click or go to the actions button and see the accounting transaction. Here it is. And here's the credit memo. If we go to bills, here's the trucking company bill and the customs broker bill. So now let's quickly take a look at the shipment list. This is found within the warehousing folder and then click on shipment list. In this example, we use the Actions button to choose certain columns. We selected Income, Expense, and Profit and is liquidated and has transactions. We now have a Shipment by Shipment accounting view. The Is Liquidated column is useful to determine which shipments have been liquidated or not. The Has Transactions column is used to determine if accounting transactions have been added or linked to a shipment. As with all Magaya lists, you can then select your predefined dates, or click on the filter button to choose standard or advanced, and then click here to save the view. Then name your view, click OK, and you can recall this view at any time. Be sure to check out our knowledge base for step-by-step -step articles you can print or email to help you use the software fully. Thanks for watching.